everybody. Today I'm coming to you with a fabric haul. I said I won't do very many because I have a stash that just goes on forever. But recently I did order some things from an outfit on Etsy called Fabulous, and they're fabulous. They have wonderful, interesting fabrics. Their prices are very reasonable, and the shipping charges are reasonable as well. So I'm going to show you what I got from them. First I'll go, what am I wearing? I'm wearing another tunic by New Look 6086. I've made this about seven times now. This one I took a sleeve flounce from a different New Look pattern. I did some quilters cotton on the back half of the flounce and then the front half of the knit. It's made out of a washable wool jersey that I had in my stash that I've had for a long, long time. It's a really comfortable fabric. And the way this sleeve is done, I will do another video and talk about this later. The way that they did it was to have just a narrow hem on this flounce and to be all one color. But I find those narrow hems to be extremely difficult to do. They just, they tend to look very unprofessional and ugly. So I was looking at it, trying to figure that out, and I just decided to line it, and that opened up the design possibilities of probably four different ways you could do this flounce. So that was pretty fun. And so I'll get on a video, a short, I'll add that somewhere in a different video later. So onto the fabric. In this collection, the first one I'm going to show you was called a Burnout Laser Design 100% Cotton Knit. It's kind of getting a little bit of a glare, but you can see it has these cute little holes in it. This fabric, um, it had a pretty moderate amount of shrinkage. So of the, all the fabrics that I bought, the knits, a lot of them did have some shrinkage, but each one of them because of the generosity of the cut, I ended up with more than what I ordered. This one I ended up with a little bit less, but I'll probably make a boxy sweater, something similar to this, or either a tank that something can show through for summer wear. Um, and it's 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 kind of one of those knits that runs strange. It's hard to get the straight of grain straightened out on it, straight of grain on it. So. I, but I, I'm just going to tame it as best I can and cut out something cute and make it work. So that's number one down. The next fabric, if you watch my other two videos you have seen before, is this beautiful rayon chalet. I got a two yard piece of this for $5.95 and I cut out a pair of palazzo pants for my daughter and I would need to get a stretchy knit to make the waistband out of. And you'd think that with my extensive stash, I'd have such a thing in there, but I can't find anything that has a, a, enough, not just stretching out, but also that retracts the way that it should be. So, and that's going to be important for a pair of pants for a waistband. The next piece, you've seen this fabric before also, it's just this really beautiful ITY knit. And do you know what ITY means? Because I didn't, I looked it up. It means interlock twist yarn knit. Now, the difference between a jersey knit and an interlock knit is, is in the method of the knit. And the jersey knit is not as stable of a knit as the interlock, and the interlock lays flat, so you don't get that curling on the edge. With, I assume that with the twist is how they create a little bit of a little texture. How it looks like little lines running across. Anyway, it's very pretty. I've made this tunic and I've made a three-quarter length shirt and I'm gonna make something else fabulous out of it. It's just beautiful. I love it so much. The next thing up is a rayon jersey and this is kind of a a pink with a, a gray heathered look to it and I think it comes across pretty true on the camera. I got two yards of that. I'm gonna make some sort of a, a knit top, well obviously knit, a knit top for my daughter, kind of a longish tunic top for her to wear for work. And the next thing I got is a piece of stretch lace that was called a sunflower stretch lace ombre sunset. On the monitor when I ordered it, it showed it going more orange over here. It's really just peach, but it has this pretty ombre. I'll probably make a nightgown out of that because it looks like it's going to be something that would snag easily and so something that won't have to get really heavy wear. Then I got this very pretty tie-dye jersey knit. This is something that my oldest daughter, uh, she wears things that look like this a lot and it's very vibrant and beautiful 
and this one was five dollars for one yard but it was it's closer to a yard and a half what they sent me and I will make one of those shirts that has kind of the swoopy little hem that comes down and that's going to look very pretty and then I got this one piece I ordered I didn't look at it correctly I thought this was going to be this rich kind of reddish brown and it was going to match perfectly with a pair of pajama pants that I made for my daughter but instead it's this kind of mauve color and it's in that um, I guess vintage wash so it's an uneven wash across it but it's pretty cool looking and I can still make her a nice it's just five eighths of a yard they can make her a tank top or a, a small uh, t-shirt that she can wear with her pajamas it just won't match the other ones and then I got this rayon knit that also it, it's very similar to the the heathered color one it just has this lovely drape that rayon knits tend to have and I just love them they're so comfortable to wear and they look so pretty I'm going to make one top that is a funnel neck um, and I'm probably going to have to try to figure out how to draft that or I haven't seen any patterns like that but I hadn't been searching but I bought a sweater dress for my one daughter to wear to work and it's hundred percent wool and it's kind of scratchy to her so if I do the funnel neck it'll come up it won't be like a turtleneck because she doesn't like turtlenecks but it'll be drapey in the front and comfortable but it'll keep the wool off of her skin and it'll give her another layer of the warmth as well and the next to last item is what my I called her my uh, dressmaking dummy the other day and I thought well that seemed very disrespectful so I thought I should really give her a name so I thought and thought and I said I'm gonna name her Agatha because she takes some of the mystery out of fitting and so Agatha is wearing this boxy sweater I wore it in a previous video and I bought this fabric it was called a speckled design sweater knit I'll put it a little closer and it is a very loosely woven sweater knit honestly I don't think it's going to wear very well but it's cute for the moment while I was looking at it I thought that it had a really attractive selvage edge and so I thought to take that and use it instead of hemming the sleeves because when you make sleeves or hem knits a lot of times it just doesn't look very professional with the machines we have available to us sometimes if with a cover stitch or a twin needle you can get a good look but I thought this looked neat and as I thought about that, I looked at it and I thought, well, why not take that selvage and use it to create the neckband for this? And so that's what I did. I put the right side to the wrong side on the inside, and then I flipped it over and I stitched it down. And I did about a 25% length of banding for the measurement around the neck so if the band or what you measured around here let's say it was 10 inches seven and a half inches and that is a pretty good estimate on a very stretchy knit you might want to make it a little bit shorter and then I got around to the back and I sewed it together and it just didn't want to behave it wanted to stretch but I thought well okay go ahead and stretch I will just make that into a design feature and I think it looks really cute and it's fun to wear it's lightweight it's a good layering thing and I want to show you underneath is this super cute ready to wear sweater that I purchased I don't know I've had this quite a few years and I just love it I wish that my camera was showing the bottom of it it has these cute holes in the design well obviously I can't duplicate that but I like the boxy style of it it looks really cute with a blouse sticking out underneath it and so this was very simple because all this is is a couple of squares and a little rectangle so all I had to do is measure this both ways you know double you know make sure you know I think you know what I mean it double the flat measurement and just cut these squares fiddle around with it a little bit and it was very easy to make and then by using the selvage edge I solved the situation of what to do around the neckline so I hope that that will help somebody out there and you know I don't always pay any attention to the selvage but in this case it really was cute and then the final thing I picked up was this piece of fabric and I got this at Hobby Lobby of these little cute foxes 
and I'm going to make a window shade for one of my bedrooms. It was four dollars a yard. I thought it was adorable and very very good price. It's a 100% cotton duck. It's machine washable which I, that I won't probably hopefully have to wash a window shade but anyway super cute great value. So that is it for my fabric haul and then I want to show you one other thing I got which is just tons of fun and if you haven't done it maybe you should get some for yourself. I ordered myself some little labels and they just say Carol, just Carol. I got them from a place called Mayday Labels on Etsy. I think they were very inexpensive. I got 35 labels for $27 delivered. They took care of my order very quickly. It was Their estimate was longer than what it took for them to be delivered. And how much fun is it to be able to just put a little label that has your own name on it in the back of a t-shirt that otherwise you're having to fiddle around with to figure out what's the front or the back or something that you're giving as a gift. So if you don't have any, get them. Maybe not for May Day, although I highly recommend them. But get you some labels and let's all get sewing. Thanks. I'll see you soon.